All right, so here it is, all wired and has been fired and done a little bit of purging and cleaning. Although there's still probably more to go on that, as there always seems to be. So we've got uh, the junction box there. That's the 120 volt, the uh, thermostat wire brought down on the gas pipe. This is a uh, nice uh, mega press T we've installed to uh, eventually get uh, gas over to the water heater and uh, see if we can get rid of that uh, corrugated stainless steel stuff. And the uh, 120 volts is uh, brought into the service switch mounted centrally and then from there power is sent to the low water cutoff and also power is sent to the VXT and a line is sent to the pressure troll and finally the power is sent to the um, fire control box on the burner. We have a dis quick disconnect here so we can open up the box without uh, disassembling any wires. 120 volt power is here. This is the uh, uh, blower circuit. Make sure that the uh, b motor is working and um, indeed in uh, in least inducing a draft at this point. Switch there. Thermostat wire ties into here. And then this is from the block flu switch. As we discussed, let me see if I can get a good shot of that uh, around the corner. So the block flu switch is brought in, uh, usually brought over by us uh, with the 24 volt uh, wire thermostat wire makes it easier to work on there it comes in there this these two terminals here for a carbon monoxide alarm should that uh, be added later on so this is the uh, drip line for the pressure relief valve Drain hoses back there and drains all installed. It seems to be heating the house pretty well. So far the customer is pleased and that pleases me. So some have asked, why use a gas-fired boiler uh, burner in something for oil-fired? And the main reason is that a, in general, a gas burner is or has the potential to be much more efficient than a typical atmospheric because you can control the gas inlet and the air inlet and the draft. Now on a typical atmospheric, you have a, um, a draft diverter, like, like what's on top of the uh, water heater there, and that has to essentially deal with draft in all conditions. Um, and so anything that tries to do everything does nothing well. So if you have a draft barometric draft regulator that uh, allows a pr precisely controlled uh, draft for the uh, fireball that's contained inside this boiler. And so you're able to dial in um, reasonable accuracy figures. Let's see if we can get a shot. That is our readout from our combustion efficiency test.
And the other advantage of using an oil-fired boiler is that five sides in the boiler see the flame. Bottom, two sides, and of course top and rear. Whereas, and the only side that doesn't see flame, of course, is the <laughs> burner door. Um, and so the there's more surface area to absorb the heat before it's sent up the chimney. And so by dialing this in, you can get um, a better overall seasonal efficiency over an atmospheric type, because the atmospheric is just essentially a, a pot on the stove. Uh, the burners are underneath and the boiler is on top. And this uh, generally will give better thermal efficiency overall. So this is um, my partner Steamhead's wiring and adjustments for this. And it looks like uh, we are ready for the season. Um, and that is that. Thank you very much for following along. And thank you very much for your comments.